So the first thing is, in QuickBooks Online Banking, there is a feature called Show Bank Details. So when you have Show Bank Details turned off, one of the issues that you have, like, like it is right now, is that you only see QuickBooks' cleaned up version of the pay list. Right now, you see that in red. That's not a nat native QuickBooks Online feature. We added that through Right Tool. And basically, what it does is it shows you whatever's in the memo. It brings it up to the top. So now, you can visually, without having to click and open it, you can, you can see that. Now, if you were to click on Show Bank Details, and just for a minute, just assume that red stuff is not there. Uh, you would see the whole bank details, but you don't see QuickBooks' cleaned up sort of helper version of the payee name. And that's a really important piece because that uh, helper version of the payee name sometimes brings a lot of valuable context. So the solution that we came up with right tool is for you to turn off show bank details. That way you can see both the cleaned up version and the, the bank details all sort of in the same line or in the same uh, row per se. That way, that combined context of what QuickBooks thinks the vendor is and what the actual uh, payee is, that helps. Like for example, this is a good example. Like you, this vendor name right here that you see uh, is the Latin Fork. That's literally the name of the restaurant that I went to and I paid with my credit card. Now, because as part of the memo, my name is in there, Somehow QuickBooks thinks the pay name is my name, which is obviously completely wrong. So this cleaned up version of QuickBooks' pay name sometimes hinders more than it helps, but sometimes it helps. Like for example, Fandango, this worked, right? It took all this crap per se, like just a bunch of extra information, and it somehow got Fandango from there. And that's a beautiful thing. You want QuickBooks to sort of guess some of these uh, pay names, uh, correctly, but sometimes it doesn't do it right. So what we think we've done with Right Tool is sort of be in that perfect, happy medium where you get a little bit of both, best of both worlds. So that's sort of the first uh, relevant thing with banking that Right Tool does. The other thing that we do is here in the gear menu, you have this option here called turn on grouping. I love that function. I use it all the time. Turn on grouping allows me to group my transactions based on date, or description, or payee, that's if there's already a payee, uh, or no payee, if there's a no payee currently, by spent versus uh, paid, okay? And by assigned to, it is already something assigned to it. So I usually sort these, the most common thing that I do is I sort them by description. So this sort by description is great because uh, QuickBooks will resolve what it thinks the cleaned up vendor is, and the nice thing about having it on this mode, on, the, on the, the mode where you don't show the bank details, is that it's going to group and organize by the cleaned up version of the QuickBooks sort of AI description, but you still get to see the details. And then you can even collapse these and choose which one you want to work with. So you can actually manually click and collapse any of these if you want to sort of sort and group that. 